Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high value, hi-fi, and home theater gear. And today we're talking about the iFi Zen Phono Amp and the Fluence RT85. This combination has now set the bar for all turntables and phono amps that come through here. So if you're curious to find out why, grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about the iFi Zen Phono and the Fluence RT85. Today's sponsor is Sith Audio Reading Glasses. As we get older, science tells us that our vision is going to degrade over time to the point where we can't read things anymore or we have to go like this when we're reading things. That's why Sith Audio has stepped up and provided the first audiophile grade reading glasses. They make everything you read sound better. And remember, at Sith Audio, all of their products are certified audiophile, audiophile grade, certified reading glasses from our friends at Sith Audio. The iFi Zen Phono is currently $190. It's around usually $180 to $190. It's below $200. iFi is one of my favorite companies when it comes to high value audio products. The iFi Zen Phono lies in the Zen family, which has a whole bunch of stuff, including DAX, which is one of my favorite DACs, the iFi Zen DAC. It has a Burr Brown chip and also a headphone amp, and it's wonderful. I love it. Also, the Zen Can, obviously, that is a headphone amplifier, but again, awesome and always high value. So, when I got an opportunity to listen to the iFi Zen Phono, I jumped at it because iFi really sets the bar when it comes to high value audio products. The Zen Phono is the same form factor as all of the other products in the Zen line. Pretty simple on the front, you have a power button, which also acts as an actuator to change either moving magnet, moving coil, uh, moving coil low, moving coil high, and moving coil very low. And then on the uh, other side you have a subsonic filter. On the back you have a balanced pentagon output. And iFi uses pentagon inputs and outputs quite a bit, but that's something you don't see very often, a balanced output on a phono preamp. Then you have some RCA outputs, a grounding post, and then some RCA inputs. And then you have the gain setting, which is one is for moving magnet, two, moving coil high, low, and then very low. On the back, there's a little, yeah, little switch. iFi Zen Phono. 180 or 90 dollars right now fluence the fluence rt85 it is their top tier turntable it comes with an ortophon 2m blue cartridge and an acrylic platter you can choose between white bamboo walnuts or black finishes and i have one in in white over here piano it's very glossy it's very pretty the Fluence turntables, everything from the RT82 through the 85, utilize the same motor, the same plinth, the same feet. The feet are very nice because they are adjustable and they come down to a point. I'll show you a picture. They are adjustable so it makes leveling out your turntable fairly easily. You don't have to stack pennies underneath the feet or whatever. The RT82 through 85 all use the same tone arm. One of my favorite things about their tone arm is the removable head shell. So, changing out cartridges is a snap. On a table like this, personally, I like to switch things out a bit. I have different speakers with different flavors. Well, the cool thing about turntables is you can have different cartridges. You can change a cartridge, I think, on any turntable. But how easy it is to change the cartridges may vary. Your mileage may vary. So, with a removable head shell, it's quite easy once you, of course, get the cartridge mounted on the new head shell. It's very easy to switch out cartridges and enjoy a different flavor. So, with all the Fluence turntables, the likelihood that you can enjoy different cartridges goes through the roof because it takes about 
15 seconds to change it out. The RT85 runs for $499 or $500. This is a, what I would consider a semi-automatic turntable. So once it gets to the end of the record and gets to the middle part, instead of going into forever, it stops. Now it does not pick up the arm and return it back to the cradle but it at least stops. So I get distracted a lot when I'm listening to a record. It's very good for me because sometimes I forget that the record's going when I'm doing something else and it stops, which saves, I guess, the needle or stylus. So let's talk about the value proposition of the RT85. If anybody goes and takes a look at what a Ortofon 2M Blue cartridge costs just by itself, it's north of $200. And then when one looks at how much the acrylic platter from Fluence costs, I think that's $100 or $120. Personally, I own the RT83 turntable, which does not have the acrylic platter and has the Ortofon 2M Red. That turntable comes in at $350, and it's a great turntable. But if you want to upgrade to the RT85, $200 over $200, well, you can just get the needle because here's the cool thing about the Ortofon 2M Red and 2M Blue. It's fundamentally the same cartridge, so you can switch out the styluses, needles, and it becomes an Ortofon 2M Blue at that point. They're still like, it, 200 bucks is basically what, what the new needle costs. Anyway, if I'm upgrading my RT83, which is $350, Upgrading that to what an RT85 comes with out of the box, 350 plus 200 for the needle, it's 550, and then another 100 plus for the acrylic platter. So it's like 650 or $670. So if you're at all curious or you think you may get upgradeitis later on when you get your turntable, just get the 85 because it will end up saving you a lot of money in the long term. And because I've already gotten a couple different cartridges, right? So if I had just gotten the RT85 to begin with, I would literally be out less money than I've spent already, and I still don't even have the acrylic platter yet. The cool thing about the acrylic platter is, number one, it just looks awesome. It's very clear. Some other acrylic platters are kind of opaque on the sides, but this is crystal clear, like ice, like a really cool piece of ice that you, this is clear. Anyway, you can kind of see up underneath the record. Anyway, I, I don't generally get very excited about how things look, but I have to tell you that this looks pretty cool when it's playing a record. The RT85 is also belt driven and to change speeds, it's very easy. There's a knob on the front and you click it either left for 33 or to the right for 45. Another cool thing about this turntable is when you take the tone arm out, and bring it over, it automatically starts the platter a spinning. So you don't have to do anything. It's not spinning. It doesn't start spinning until you get ready to put, to drop the needle onto your vinyl record. You also don't need a mat when you're using the acrylic platter, which this thing is just cool looking. Okay, from a build quality perspective, I've had a few different turntables come through here. And while the Fluence RT series may be a little bit more traditional looking than some of the other tables, not maybe as sleek looking, to me, they feel significantly better built. They are heavier, their plinth, it plinths is much thicker. It just feels better. Just feels like it's better quality. Does that translate into sound? I don't know. But from where I'm sitting, the Fluence just feels a little bit beefier than some of the other tables. Not saying those other tables are horrible or bad, just saying the Fluence feels a little bit more meaty. I don't know why I punched my hand. Great info, Randy, but how does it sound? Well, I'll put it to you this way. There has been two times in the past 10 months that I have just sat back and gotten the chills from listening to music. One was with the MT604 headphone amp with a pair of Monolith M570s and a Denifreps Ares II running through it. Two is when recently I was listening to Metallica SNM2, the vinyl version, obviously, It'd be difficult to listen to a CD on a turntable. 
Anyway, the track was all within my hands. Wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful song. I was listening to it on the RT-85 through the iFi Zen, and it was truly magical. Truly magical. The one thing about this combination, now I have used other turntables, a Fluence RT-83, which is the Ortofon 2M Red, through the iFi Zen, and the characteristics of the Zen is, number one, it's detailed. Number two, it has enough body, but yet doesn't feel like it's overtly thick and covering up anything. Crystal clear. But the one thing about this phono amp is it's quiet. Dead quiet. And if the record is clean, I, if you would have blind tested me and told me I was listening to the Denifreps Aries 2 or the Schkit Bifrost 2, I would have believed you. And a digi with digital music, like a high-res digital music, I would have completely believed you. I would not have been able to pick out the differences. And before that, every time I listened to a vinyl record, while it was completely enjoyable, and I loved the experience, even with maybe not as low of a noise floor, I still knew I was listening to vinyl. When I was listening to this combination with that song, I didn't know I was listening to vinyl. It was one of the most wonderful musical experiences I've had, and it completely elicited an emotional response from me in the form of goosebumps. Goosebumps. And isn't that what this is all about anyway? Do I have a ton of experience with phono preamps? No, I don't. The only other standalone phono preamp I've ever had is a Project. And I can't remember which one it was, but it costs $200. And I remember when I had that, I was comparing it to the internal phono preamp in the Emotiva TA100, which is their previous generation integrated amp. The takeaway here was that while there was a difference and while the Project was better than the internal preamp on the Emotiva TA100, it wasn't significantly better or better enough to justify me keeping both. When I hooked up the iFi Zen Phono and I compared it, a beat it, to the internal preamp of the PT-1, which is the newer Emotiva preamp, there was no comparison. Now, don't get me wrong. The Phono preamp in the Emotiva sounds great. It's very full. It's, it's a nice preamp. And when we take into consideration that that entire preamp is $450, it makes sense that a 180 or a 190 standalone preamp is going to beat it. I also compared this to the internal phono preamp of my Yamaha CR800. That's a vintage receiver, and it was quite a bit better. While the Yamaha has more detail than, say, the Emotiva does, it lacks the bottom end. So with the Emotiva, you get some fullness. With the Yamaha, you get some clarity, but the iFi Zen not only brings clarity and fullness, but it lowers the noise floor to imperceptible levels to my ear and just sounds better all the way around. I couldn't recommend the iFi Zen Phono more. At $180, even if you get a turntable right now and you use the Phono preamp in your integrated, whatever it is that you have, your receiver, I am telling you, if you just save up some money and you get the iFi Zen Phono later, it will pay you back in dividends. After I did my initial listening, and I, I, I read some other reviews. I usually don't do that, but I read some other reviews, and my experience matches up with some of these other reviewers. So it's a fantastic product. At less than $200, if you are into, even if you're not into vinyl, I would give it a try. It, get it from Amazon, return it if you don't like it. It's amazing. And I think it's going to be the best $180 or $90 that you spend if you are at all into vinyl. It's going to make things sound better. Everything I said about the iFi Zen Vono can pretty much be applied to the RT-85. The 2M Blue, and I started switching out cartridges, so I listened to the 2M Blue versus the 2M Red versus the Nagaoka MP110, I think. The 2M Blue is 
fantastic. The 2M Red to me sounds very detailed, but it also seems like it can be a bit harsh in the upper mid-range. The 2M Blue gives you all the detail, if not more detail, reduces the harshness or absolutely removes the harshness and then brings up the body on the bottom end. If you are at all curious about the 2M Blue over the 2M Red, I say don't be. Just get the 2M Blue. Unless you know that you don't want an acrylic platter, I would buy the RT85 if you're at all interested. In, unless you want a very, very entry level table with an internal phono amp, just get the RT85. Unless you know that you want a specific cartridge and you want to save some money or whatever it is, I'm telling you that the 2M Blue is much better than the 2M Red to my ear. It gives you everything, it gives you body, gives you a, just a warm, but yet detailed at the same time mid-range and all the clarity I could ever ask for. It's just absolutely wonderful. This combination is my reference going forward for all turntables and phono preamps. Outstanding. And this combination is what I listen to when I just want to relax and listen to music. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheapaudioman. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. There's a link. Click on it. Sign up. You get three months for free. I think you get three months of Disney Plus for free. I get a couple of dollars. You can also utilize any of the links in the description. Those are affiliate links. It doesn't cost you any more, but I get a commission if you use those links to buy a product. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your new Fluence RT85 running through your iFi Zen Phono and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.